and yeah i already you mentioned this uh, class imbalancement it is also a advanced topic so if the class is imbalanced like this means the model is more biased to this positive class because 80% mm -hmm. of the data is positive class if mm -hmm. you go for a graph so it will like this so this is uh, so much uh, imbalanced so in order mm -hmm. to balance the data we'll be using some methods called uh, class balancing it is called adasin and a smoot so majority of the time uh, we'll be using smoot because that can able to get some uh, relative uh, data samples for mm -hmm. this classes so uh, if you have like under sample data means you can able to bring this uh, sample to this one by replicating some of the data samples let's say we have data here 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 and here uh, these are all uh, belongs to this class mm -hmm. so you can able to get some new point out of this uh, data like this so it can able to get some similar data using these points so that is the advantage of uh, smoot but in adasin it will just uh, replicate the same data so that is somewhat uh, less productive from our side so mm -hmm. we mostly use uh, smoot or uh, weighted under sampler or over sampler instead of uh, over sampling this uh, minority class we can also reduce this uh, majority class like uh, we can reduce this 80 to 25 or uh, mm -hmm. yeah like this 25 we can just uh, over sample like five only so both the classes are even if you have mm -hmm. multiple classes means you can uh, set some weightage to this uh, classes let's say we have uh, 10 classes so the total uh, contribution will be 100 you can specify some weights to this classes let's say you want to give importance to the first class we will be giving a uh, 20% of importance uh, first class apart from that uh, you can give some least important uh, by giving uh, less percentage to that particular class let's say we have uh, class number 10 that is least important so we will just uh, give 5 percentage of uh, weightage so based on the weightage also we can uh, sample the data uh, maybe in uh, deep learning when you go for uh, deep learning you will uh, use this uh, weighted uh, sampling uh, if you have if you are going for uh, multi classification if you have more than uh, two labels mm -hmm. so that is uh, class imbalancement apart from that yeah one more thing usually if you uh, if you go for a numerical uh, data you will be plotting the data like this so if the data goes in the form of uh, bell that is a normal distribution so yeah the data is uh, perfectly fine uh, you can go with this uh, data let's say we have another data so this is a uh, right skewed data so most of the data are in the left side but uh, less amount of data in the right side we need to transform this data to change like this so what will be uh, doing is uh, we have uh, some pre processing techniques for that uh, that will be min max normalization standardization and lastly log transformation so log transformation somewhat generic uh, i'll be using most of the times log transformation uh, because uh, i can able to use the same for uh, test data also for min max mm -hmm. normalization the range will be in 0 uh, to 1 so if you have like a numerical value from ranging from 0 to 1000 means it will just actually uh, compress the data or uh, divide the data using this uh, finding the minimum and maximum you can able to get the data in the range of 0 to 1 so it will be in uh, floating points 
in standardization you will be using a mean and a standard deviation based on the deviation we can able to get this bell curve also and sometimes if the data difference is too large let's say uh, one sample is uh, 200 and another sample is uh, 1000 like this if the data difference is too long means uh, some simple models say uh, can't able to easily understand or uh, easily uh, classify because of this uh, large variance so mm -hmm. what we are going to do is uh, mostly we will be transforming this data in in 0 to 1 or we can uh, also use this uh, log transformation it also convert this data uh, from 0 to maximum 7 or 8 uh, depends on how big the data set is if you go for uh, lax means uh, it will actually go for 7 to 8 using this log mm. transformation also we can able to change this curve uh, into a more meaningful way and will be having less difference between the between those values if you say uh, 200 and 1000 means uh, it will be in one or two uh, so the difference is so small so that is uh, somewhat negligible mm. so this is, can be applied for uh, all the numerical values and yeah i think uh, this is pretty much it for the theoretical part